a team from the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies is currently on the island conducting training sessions with volunteers focused on climate smart livelihoods. The Federation is the world's largest humanitarian network which travels globally to promote and develop initiatives geared towards community and economic development. Officials are training Grenadians on how they can use climate data and projects to develop and plan programs and activities to promote and sustain livelihoods following a crisis. Facilitator Cedric Reeves told GIS the one-week session will provide guidelines so Grenada can implement programs and support communities and individuals. So we'll be working through a case study and uh, giving tools to the trainers and the participants to work and be able to uh, plan activities and projects on climate smart livelihoods to support the communities of Granada that will be affected by crises or it can be also like just helping uh, supporting the livelihoods in a normal uh, period also or like stable period. Last weekend, a group of volunteers participated in the Train the Trainers workshop, which builds their capacity to roll out continuous training and courses to ensure programs and initiatives can be sustainable. Reeves said the training is both theoretical and practical. The idea is to have volunteers and people trained on these tools and on this approach to be able also afterwards to build projects on, on, on these thematics, you know. So the idea is to have like people train it and be able to work on programs that will help the communities uh, to strengthen and protect their livelihoods. So the main idea is to have like clear projects afterwards and have like some uh, trying to find some funds. Uh, we have been already discussing with the cluster in the region and normally uh, the idea is to, to work on, on clear projects afterwards. So for example, they will be working on a case study uh, based on some real situation and at the end of the week they will be presenting some propositions on some projects activities propositions and projects uh, so uh, so the idea is for example take this kind of ideas and apply them in the reality or like on the field Paula Mitchell, Red Cross volunteer, is happy to be a beneficiary of the training. She is optimistic that it will help the local society to strengthen community sustainability. The livelihoods training hosted by Grenada Red Cross National Society um, will benefit Grenada and community members, not only in Grenada, but Grenada Karakou and PT Matnik, in creating more resilient community members. So we just had the passage of Hurricane Beryl, which would have affected farmers, fishermen, people who sustain their income from sources that are unconventional from a typical nine to five. So the training here would actually aid us in being able to go out into the communities and actually assist them with being able to sustain themselves and to support themselves and their families.